Hola, nuevos amigos. I'm Señorita García. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. We will be learning something very important today. Manners. It's important to use good manners and be polite. Good manners make life pleasant. Before we learn about manners, let's sing the Nuevos Amigos Verb Song. Can someone tell me which verb we learned in our last lesson? Indicar! You're correct, boys and girls. Muy bien, niños y niñas. Our new verb is abrazar. Repeat after me. Abrazar. Abrazar means to hug. I like to give hugs, don't you? Now we're ready to sing the Nuevos Amigos Verb Song using the verbs indicar and abrazar. Let's begin! Hola, hola, los amigos, los amigos, los amigos, hola, hola. Fantástico! You're doing such a lovely job when you sing the verb song. Nuevos amigos, I just gave you a compliment. A compliment is a way to praise someone or tell them that they did a good job. When someone gives you a compliment, it's good manners to say thank you. In Spanish, the word for thank you is gracias. Repeat after me. Gracias. Very good. Now say it with me. Gracias. You've heard us say gracias many times during our lessons. When someone says gracias because you did something nice for them, you can say back to them, de nada. De nada is the Spanish phrase that means you're welcome. Let's say it together. De nada. One more time. De nada. Excelente. Sometimes you need a friend to do something for you. When you ask them to help you, it's good manners to say please. The Spanish phrase for please is por favor. Say por favor with me. Por favor. Muy bien. Let's look at an example of how you can use your good manners and say, por favor, gracias, and de nada. Please, thank you, and you're welcome. Dame una manzana, por favor. Gracias. De nada. Can you see how easy it is to be polite and use good manners? I can. Have you ever been at school and needed to get past a group of people in the hallway? You don't want to be rude and push your way through the group. What do you do? You can say, con permiso to the group. Con permiso means, excuse me. Say, con permiso with me. Con permiso. Let's say it again. Con permiso. Bien. When you say con permiso, the group should let you go by and you can keep walking down the hall. Now, imagine that you are in a group that's blocking the hallway. Someone comes along and says, con permiso. You can help them by moving out of the way and saying, Pase usted. Pase usted means come by or come through. Let's say, Pase usted together. Pase usted. Again, Pase usted. Excelente. Here's an example of how you can use 
Con permiso, en pase usted. My favorite color is blue. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Con permiso, pase usted. Gracias. De nada. See how easy that was, nuevos amigos? You can also say, pase usted, when someone knocks on your door at home and you want them to come in. Pase usted, come in. Good manners do make life better. You know, I wonder what's going on with Juanita and Taco. Taco, what's wrong with your head? You have a band-aid on. I was playing with my amigos and I fell and bumped my head. Oh, let me give you un beso. A what? Un beso. That means a kiss. Repeat after me, everybody. Beso. Beso. So let me give you un beso to make you feel better, Taco. Okay. Mwah. There. How does that feel? A little better. Let me also give you un abrazo. What's that? Un abrazo means a hug. Repeat after me. Abrazo. Abrazo. Let's say it one more time. Abrazo. Very good. I'll give you a hug. Un abrazo. And maybe that will make you feel a little better. Mm, okay. There. That does make me feel better, Juanita. Muchas gracias. De nada. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Juanita gave Taco a hug and a kiss to make him feel better. Did you know, niños y niñas, that a hug, el abrazo, is used as a greeting that is given to good friends and family members in some Spanish-speaking countries? Along with a hug, some people include a kiss, un beso, on one cheek or both cheeks. There you are, Juanita. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, señorita Garcia. Juanita, are you ready to play? I have the dollhouse ready for us. Wow, look at the house. This is great. I'll play the granddaughter. And I'll be the grandmother on vacation. I'll come visit you at your house. Okay. Knock, knock. Who is it? It's me, Grandmother Garcia, Abuelita Garcia. Yay, Grandmother is here. Pase usted, por favor. Come in, please. Sí, gracias, Juanita. De nada. You're welcome. ¿Cómo está usted? Bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. I've been waiting for you to get here so we can bake a cake. That sounds wonderful, Juanita. But I'm a little tired. I'd like to take a siesta first. Con permiso. Excuse me. Okay, Grandmother. Your room is upstairs. Enjoy your siesta and I'll see you in a little while. Gracias.
Adios, amigos. That's all the time we have for today's lesson. Let's go over all the new words we've learned as we've studied manners. We learn how to say please and thank you. Por favor means please. Gracias means thank you. We learn how to say you're welcome, which is de nada. Then we learn how to say con permiso. For example, if you need to get past a person or group, you would say con permiso. Excuse me. We also learn how to say pase usted, which means pass by or come in. If someone needs to get past you, you can say to them, pase usted. Taco performed a wrapping rhyme for us to help us remember how important manners are for everyone, even the birds. <laughs> Nervous amigos, you paid attention and have done a great job. Un gran trabajo. I had a lot of fun with you today. Practice your new words and good manners as you play with your friends this week. And remember, when you learn to speak another language, you also make new friends. Adios!